And when you have meetings with UNHCR and they say, uh, well, the world has a four million problem there and eight million people there and 400,000 there and, and the numbers are staggering. And if you go back even prior to the First World War, the numbers of people displaced and between the First and Second World War and the displacement of people, which was a disgrace and the racism. We've been doing it forever. And then we say, oh, and they say, oh, and how many have you got? And so, well, um, when we brought in the law in 1992, um, which was uh, to make sure that people were locked up as soon as they arrived so we could check on them, we had 246. <laughs> we were terribly worried at that time that we were going to be 246. And how many have you got today? Well, you know, we've got nearly 2,000. We took 500 people on assisted visas last year from individuals. Canada took 50,000. So you, you finish the book, Tony, by asking a question. And the question for me, um, as you have clinically enormous amount of work, outline the steps, the processes, the graphs. The whys are not really in here. Because the whys have always been in this country, politics. Um, those of you that have spoken to me, that have come from Christian churches to talk to me in the parliament or in my office, and I've said, do not give me another glossy brochure about your social justice stance. I don't want another glossy brochure. I just want you to act as one unit. If, and I say to them, if all the churches acted in unison in this country on any issue, no government could stand. If all the leaderships of the churches acted in unison, no government could stand against it. Our churches go into every tiny hamlet to every city, to every place. They've got more contacts than Packer. <laughs> and they've got a lot. They do. You know, there is this... And the reason we were able to act in the 2005 to nine was because the Australian people were furious about what was happening. Have we become so hard-hearted now that we're not prepared to rise up in fury and say, if they are genuine refugees, we need to deal with them, rather than saying to our American colleagues, you know, take these people. I said in the speech, I'll allow that to go through. But I am concerned. I am concerned that if the situation continues as it is in Nauru, and the situation continues it is and on Manus Island. We're not only damaging the people that are there, but we may have an incident on Manus that causes the nation to be ashamed. More ashamed. And if that's the case, I don't know what the Americans will do and I don't know what the government will do. 